The M1A2 Abrams and T-14 Armada are the latest main battle tanks representing the United States and Russia, respectively. Both tanks are designed with cutting-edge technology, showcasing interesting differences in performance. The Abrams is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore gun that can fire a variety of ammunition, making it highly versatile in combat. On the other hand, the Armada features a larger 125mm smoothbore gun, offering greater penetration power. Notably, it utilizes an autoloader, reducing the required crew size. The Abrams employs composite and reactive armor, along with a nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC protection system, enhancing its survivability. However, the Armada boasts the Afghanit active protection system, capable of intercepting anti-tank missiles and rockets. This active protection system plays a crucial role in modern battlefields. When it comes to mobility, the two tanks differ significantly. Weighing approximately 52.9 tons, the Armada is relatively lighter and reaches a top speed of around 55.9 miles per hour. This gives it an advantage in maneuverability and strategic deployment. Meanwhile, the Abrams, at about 75 tons, is heavier but maintains stable performance thanks to its powerful engine, with a top speed of roughly 41.6 miles per hour. In terms of technology, the Abrams is equipped with the IVIS Battle Management System, enhancing network-centric warfare capabilities. It is also designed to integrate with AI-powered unmanned drones, a noteworthy feature. The Armada II boasts advanced fire control automation and a digital battle management system for high accuracy. However, its limited operational deployment means its real-world effectiveness remains largely unproven. Ultimately, the M1A2 Abrams stands out for its combat experience and reliability, while the T-14 Armada excels in advanced technology and mobility. To determine the king of tanks, real-world battlefield testing is crucial. For now, the battle-proven Abrams holds a reliability advantage, but the future performance of the Armada remains to be seen.